Joining me on the line to discuss copper is Viktor Bielski, Global Head of Commodities Research at VTB Capital in London. So Viktor, copper prices peaked in 2011 at approximately $10,000 a ton. Prices took a tumble this year to currently sit just below $6,000 a ton. In your opinion, what factors are weighing on the mining industry and when will the price of copper start to recover? Well, the price is up from the lows in the first quarter. I mean, the lows in the first quarter were about 53, 50 per tonne. So we are up sort of 10% above those levels. Um, the tumble that you referred to happened in early January, and it's very clear that it was caused by very aggressive short selling by Chinese commodity-focused hedge funds, um, which have grown very in terms of assets under management, have grown very sharply in the past 12 to 18 months. Um, they, the, the reason that they were able to push prices down is that um, these, were, these are LME prices you're talking about. The LME, about 12 months ago, started opening trading at 1.30 a.m. on its screens, which is the same time as Shanghai opens on the Shanghai Futures Exchange. And these Chinese hedge funds have seen an opportunity in that, um, obviously, at 1.30 in the morning, there aren't too many people manning the desks in London. And they have several times come in and aggressively sold at 1.30 a.m. In fact, when you look, you can see that the price fall happened almost entirely. It was an 8% price fall, and it happened between 1.30 a.m. and 2.10 a.m. in the morning, London time. So there was really no one on the other side, and it was just a very easy bear raid by these Chinese hedge funds. And we've had two or three episodes like this in the past 12 months in copper. So that's the main reason prices fell. In terms of recovering, um, we are in a, I think we're in the recovery process, um, but that process at the moment is relatively slow for three reasons. First of all, um, demand in China has been, um, you know, as for all commodities, has been weaker this year because of the, you know, significant slowdown in growth that we saw in the first quarter. Um, we think there will be a bounce back in the remainder of the year because China's state grid, which is its major consumer, has indicated a 9% increase in, in spending this year, which is up from 5 to 6% in the last two years. But we aren't really seeing much evidence of that yet. Secondly, um, the recovery has been weak because of the strength of the dollar. The dollar's at 12-year highs, and obviously commodities priced in dollars are under pressure across the board because of the strength in the dollar. And thirdly, there is a growing um, disagreement about the global supply-demand balance. Um, there has been a consensus view that the market would be in surplus, that was a consensus view in each of the last two years when, in fact, the market was in deficit in each of those last two years. There is, again, a consensus of a market surplus this year, although that, that the forecasts for the surplus have been cut significantly in the first quarter. But that, that consensus may, is, is there, and that's capping the price, I think, in the short term because it has continued to encourage hedge funds to short-sell copper. Um, now, short positions did peak in the first quarter at all-time highs, and they have come off a bit. They are below their record levels, but they are still very significant on the LME and on COMEX, and the market is net short copper. So that's sort of the third thing that's capping the price at the moment. Well, thank you very much for your insight, Victor. That is all for now. Join us again tomorrow for fresh news, analysis, and exclusive interviews. Goodbye for now.